Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, it's going to be all about this new super cannon mortar thing that we have in these operations. And we're going to be going uh, up against it with every single troop in Boom Beach. We're going to see what each troop can do against it, what they can't. We have 10 boosted gunboat energy statues just so um, these troops are at the max level. Um, so they're not going to have any extra powers from statues or anything like that. And let's just get right on into it, guys. So we have Motherboard. We threw in a couple attacks here first. So now we can just go straight at this uh, this mortar cannon. So first off, let's throw some riflemen up against it, guys. And look at this. Look at the range that this thing has. It sees them before they're even off the boats. And it's launching these gigantic missiles that do a pretty good amount of splash damage here. You'll see, um, we'll see right here. Boom, look at that. And it's, uh, it's it takes out about half the riflemen uh, fairly easily. So if you're not paying attention... And you think that you have an open um, an open area to walk in? That's probably not going to be true if there's one of these super cannon mortars. I'm going to have to look at this at this thing's name uh, in a second here. So uh, there it is against the rifleman. Uh, rifleman did not do very well, guys. So uh, we can't see the stats on it. The only thing we can see is the health. Um, so let's go over here and make sure we're actually getting the name right. So this is yeah, it's the super mortar. It kind of looks like a cannon. So the base health is twenty five thousand, and the damage per second is 700 now you compare that to a regular mortar where the the damage per second is 96 and mortars are already pretty devastating to deal with but you throw in these super mortars and look at the range that this thing has it's shooting all the way over here next to these uh, coagulating devices on the left um i mean it covers this core it covers the entire like left side of the landing landing area and it's just crazy all right so we tried the rifleman bit of a no-go there Let's try something a little, uh, a little tankier this time. Let's try, let's try the Warriors next and see how that's gonna go. Maybe they can, uh, maybe they can outspeed this Super Cannon. We'll see if it, uh, if, now the thing is, it looks like it does, yeah, it is gonna shoot backwards a little bit, um, just because obviously it takes, um, it takes a minute for it to, to lock on and the troops to go. So if you're using something like Warriors, you can do something like this. Obviously you're never gonna be using Warriors in operations, but, uh, it is easy to get out of the, to get out of the range of the, of the super mortars what we're trying to get so look at this right here guys we can just play tag with the warriors and we'll just run back and forth try to just deking and diving and dodging all of these uh all of these super missiles the warriors are running away they're terrified they don't even want to attack the base they're just going back and forth and oh my god it actually crushed one of them um so yeah you don't you don't want to mess around with these things guys you don't want to mess around with these things we'll throw in a couple of our own bombs here um and that's going to take out mr warrior there so warriors against it their speed is an advantage Obviously not something that's ever going to be used against the, the Super Mortar. It's going to be Warriors. But we're just giving you guys a look at, uh, at how this thing works, more or less. So let's dive into the next one. We're going to be using some heavies. Um, yeah, so we'll use some heavies. We'll save the Zookas for last and see if we can uh, maneuver them a little bit. But I'm going to be interested to see if this actually takes out the heavies in one hit. I don't think it should with 700 damage per second unless, some, unless, the, uh, <clears throat> unless the statue bonus is really, really crazy. So... Oh my god, it's one-shotting heavies. But that is obviously because of the, the massive ice boost that, that uh, this operation has. But <laughs> that's still insane. I can't wait to see what it's going to do against uh, against Scorch. I guess we can just keep throwing the troops out. I'm not sure why we're going out and back in. Uh, okay, let's feed it some tanks. Let's, we, we, we saw what it did to the heavies. Let's see if it can, uh, if it can just annihilate these tanks here, guys. And one shot right there. Boom. One shots, two of the tanks. That is pretty insane. And we got one more missile and good night, Mr. Tank. Well, the tank tried, guys. The tank tried. But here's another question. Are the Grenadiers going to be able to uh, outrange it? And we already know the answer is going to be no. But maybe they can out-sprint it, guys. Maybe the Grenadiers are fast enough. So let's see what's going to happen here. So the Super Mortar is changing directions. It's trying to keep up with the Grins. They're a little bit too fast for it. There's one missile right there coming right down on top. Boom. Knocking two Grins out. And, uh, yeah, it, it, the thing about the Super Mortar that's going to be really difficult is its range, and you can't really outspace it. Like, it's going to require a shock, basically, if it's on the base, because you're not going to be able to take it out. Like, say, like, say I clear the clear a spot uh, somehow for this core to be to be open with a with a core rush with Zookas. I still have to worry about the Super Mortar. Like, I, it's still going to cause a shock. It's still going to, uh, it's still going to be something that, uh, that needs to be dealt with, so... We'll throw the Cryoneers up against it, and this is probably the strategy most people are going to use uh, when they see Super Mortars. They'll think, okay, well, I'm just going to throw my Cryoneers at it, and uh, and it's not going to be able to keep up with the uh, with the freeze 
um, with the freeze effect. So it's picking them off one by one by one. Uh, the Cryoneers, not going to work very effectively against the Super Mortar, i got to say. Um, I guess they're not actually shooting at it either, but... Uh, but, but yeah, so so far the Super Mortar, it's only on Duplexity, it's only on the dual core maps from what I've seen. It doesn't look like it's going to be added to our current favorites like Humble Pie or um, anything else like that. So now let's see what it can do against the Scorcher. Now, the thing about the Scorchers is they're constantly going to be moving, right? So it's going to be very difficult for the uh, Super Mortar to actually keep up with it and also to take damage. Because you see right there, it is going to skip forward just a little bit, just enough to get out of range of that Super Mortar. Um... This one right here should peg it. Let's see what kind of damage it does. Oh my god! It almost one-shots a Scorcher on Duplexity. It almost one-shots a Scorcher. Oh, dude, that is insane. All right. So now what everyone's actually going to be using is the Zooka. So let's see. Now, we already know it's going to one-shot them there if it does land on them. So let's see if we can... Uh, let's see what we can get away with here. Let's see if we can get a, a Flash Kill or something fancy in here for you guys. Now, we just barely missed that. Um... So let's go like this, and we'll go like that. We'll flare them all up right about there. And then we'll march them up this way. And we'll see what kind of damage one boat of Zookas can do to a Super Mortar. Probably not going to be very much. Um, and it also looks like there is no uh, no fire zone on it. We'll take a look at that again in a second. But uh, I'm going to shock right here and way up here just in case those things are in range. We want to just focus on the Super Mortar for right now. And look at that, guys. It actually is going to target all the Zookas and just completely destroy them. Um, man. So, we'll throw Brick out next. So, it looks like the only thing that's really going to help you here, uh, in terms of throwing troops to use at them, is probably going to be Private Bullet. I'm going to be interested to see how that's going to work. He's going to one-shot Brick. He's going to one-shot Everspark. He's going to one-shot Kavon. We don't need to show you guys that. Um, but what we will show you is how it's going to work with, um how it's going to work with Private Bullet, because that might actually be uh, something of use. So we'll, we'll bring, we'll, we'll dive back out. Oh, we actually ran out of time there. So we'll dive back out. Yeah, I guess the, the timer goes the whole time we're doing that. So this time we'll use Private Bullet and his Taunt, because that's probably going to be the, um, the best one to use. So we'll go like this, and we'll go like this. We need to train some troops first. Chicken, and we'll go like that. And now let's dive into... Now, this is all in the dev build, guys. That's why we're able to do this, obviously. Um, so we'll go like this. Let's throw a bullet out like that. Let's just see what kind of damage the Super Mortar is going to get done to him. So, obviously, bullet is better with single target damage than he is with splash damage. So we're going to see how much this is going to do to him right here in a second. Uh, there it goes. Lobbing up and beyond. And boom. It doesn't do that much damage to bullet, actually. I think he'd, actually, he'd be able to survive that a pretty long time. Um, so bullet is going to be the way to go. If you're able to, uh, if if you're looking for some sort of uh, some sort of tank to use, like maybe that that could sh save you a shock if you have a, a core that's wide open kind of thing. Uh, so let's go like this, and we'll use the taunt that doesn't do anything, and we'll flare onto the super mortar. Let's actually get really nice and close there and, and see how this is gonna work. Uh, okay, so we're gonna have to shock some of this stuff and this stuff, and everything does so much damage on Duplexity guys that. Uh, you, you don't you don't have much space to, to mess around with so uh that's every troop in boo beach versus the the new super mortar found on uh the new operation max map duplexity uh if you want to see more about duplexity and all the maps we went over that yesterday make sure you check out that video guys thanks so much for watching that is gonna wrap it up the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative and we'll see you next one guys chicken out